Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shira and I post planner related videos on this channel. So this week I do have another plan with me for you guys and I'm going to be planning for the week of March 12th through the 18th, which is already a couple weeks ago now that I'm recording this voiceover. This was a week that I kind of struggled planning because it was a pretty special week. Um, this was a week that I was in Nashville. We'll talk about that a little bit more later, but this is the kit that I'm using. It is the Adventure Awaits kit from Caress Press. This was my very first time using a kit from Caress Press, and I've heard so many good things about their premium matte paper and all that. So I'm so excited to um, just show you how this spread came out. Um, you kind of know those times when a week is just so special to you and you kind of just can't back plan it. But oh, so these are the washies that I'm using. I'm using a um, striped one from Scotch Brand and the rose gold and navy um, bow washi from Simply Gilded. But yeah, so going back, like it's kind of weird to like um, plan weeks that are more special to you because you feel like you're going to ruin the spread. So this week was particularly special to me because it was my very first time in Nashville. Um, if you guys didn't know yet, I actually did not grow up in the United States. I grew up in the Philippines. And so I haven't really gotten to explore the country much. So this year, I'm actually going to a bunch of different states. So I'm super excited about that. And Nashville is just a start. So that's why it was pretty special to me. If you don't see it right there, like the bow washi is like messed up. I... I don't show you like the full thing, but you could see here that like the right side is thinner and I don't know why. So I think it's just like a manufacturer's error. So I had to like cut off pieces of my bow washi and that really hurt because this um, this navy and rose gold washi is actually one of the first Simply Gilded washies I've had. I remember buying it like back in 2016 and um, it's like my smallest roll of washi, probably just from the amount of times that I've used it. I think anytime a kit has like, uh, kind of navy-ish hints. I try to use this um, washi all the time. But yeah, so I'm just adding the two washies on the bottom. But yeah, let me go back to what I was talking about. I keep bouncing around because I do want to tell you guys why this week is just so special, but also like talk to you guys about what I'm doing. I really struggled with the washi for some reason. But mostly what I'm doing on the sidebar real quick is just adding some... Um, deco into that upper corner and then I'm going to put a full box after. So that takes me a lot of time so I could probably talk a bit more about the trip. Um, it was a work trip. Um, it was because our side of the company which is a marketing department had a conference out in Nashville which is where our um, parent company is. So yeah, um, like I said, I haven't really explored the US much and this year I am going to so many places more than I ever have in the combined time that I've ever lived in the US. So I'm super excited. Nashville is the very first stop for me. So that's why it was a little bit more special to me. So I did use the Adventure Awaits um, full box. I wasn't going to, but I felt like it just fit so much. Anyways, I put a little bit of the bow washi right there. I put a this week header and a half box, and then I put a check box thing on the bottom, a full check box, box. I don't know what they're called, but here I'm just lettering out, heading to Nashville, Tennessee, and I did like take out a lot of like time in between because I had to look up how to spell Tennessee because I wasn't sure if it was two N's and two S's, which it is. But I, I just kept thinking, like, is there, like, a letter that's not doubled or anything? But, well, only the T isn't doubled. But anyways, um, I'm writing down just some to-dos that I had to do throughout the week. And I'm going to get started on the week itself. So, I like I said, this is the first time I'm using um, Caress Press kits. So, I did kind of have to, like, get a feel for, like, how I like to use the kit. So this um, box with the shoe that I used um, to write down cardio is actually from Sticker Sis. And I pulled that in just to like add a couple of different um, shapes into it. The kit does have a little bit more varied shapes, but there wasn't too many um, different shapes in it. I think I may have gotten the mini kit. I'm not really 100% sure at this point. But the takeout trash sticker is from my shop. I did just put a washi background against it. And then I put this beautiful full box with the um, plane window on it because that was when my trip from San Diego to, I don't know what BNA even stands for, but that's the airport closer to Nashville 
or like it's it's probably in nashville but we didn't actually stay in nashville we stayed in a city called brentwood because that's where my parent company is headquartered at so um we just landed in nashville um so it was really cold um nashville during that time of year is actually not that cold or it's not supposed to be the few days before and after it was already like 60 ish degrees which is close to how california is but you know like the three days that we were there it just so happened that it was 30 degrees and you bring like this entire plane of people from san diego let me skip over real quick. So this is a brand new sticker that's coming to my shop this week. I have not shown this anywhere else. You guys are seeing it first. But it's a um, it's a coffee cup that says coffee makes the world go round. And I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I don't really drink coffee. But this was just one of those weeks that I was just like, oh my god, I'm dying. So literally this was the few days after daylight savings time started. And then we moved two hours ahead to like match... Um, I think, I think um, Nashville is on central time. But let me go back to the stickers. I keep like bouncing around. So um, there is a drama queen girl from um, Once More With Love. It's a munchkin, obviously. The girl on the bottom and the pizza sticker is from Happy Daya Stickers. On Tuesday at the very bottom, that's an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. I moved that little um, eye mask thing because I took a nap at the hotel that afternoon because of how tired I was. So I just wanted to use that as opposed to like pulling in a different sticker. Um, the other emoji that's drinking is also from the Coffee Monsters Co. Obviously, the spoon and fork sticker is from Paper and Milk. Um, at the very top is a tired Kinachi from Kina Prince and that's another munchkin. But I was just so tired because technically I was three hours ahead of where my body clock actually was. And I'm not used to like having to change times. Like I've traveled outside of California, but they were mainly in places where it was still like Pacific Standard Time. So I haven't had to like deal with like time changes aside from like daylight savings time. So here, or let me talk about that sticker on Tuesday again real quick. The coffee sticker um, that's coming out in my shop this Friday if you're watching it pretty much as I upload. Um, I have not shown this anywhere else. I figured I'd like do a couple of exclusive things that I show on YouTube first. So that's one of those. Um, I don't know if I show anything else that's new, but I'll talk about it later if I do. So in that half box, I turned it sideways because that was the only thing we did that day. It was the, the second day of the conference. That girl next to it is from the Honey Bee Shop. Um, the girl that's drinking, I moved this around a lot because we bar hopped and I wanted to like really document it because I got to meet some of my awesome coworkers out in Nashville. Um, the girl that's drinking the first one is from Happy Dye Stickers. The next one is a munchkin from Once More With Love. The third one is an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. It's just like flapping its arms and like we were country dancing and like imagine just like 50 people from California just trying to square dance, you know, and you know, that's not it's not cool i mean it, it was fun but like we're obviously not experts in any way so it's kind of funny and then the egg sticker on the very bottom of wednesday is from paper and milk we did end up going to a place called waffle house it's one of those places that when you're just drunk you just kind of go to because it's just awesome breakfast food and we went at three in the morning like literally after we um so we were going to try to go the next morning before our flight but that night we we're just like nope we're just gonna go tonight um, so the sleep in sticker is from my shop. Everything else so far is from the kit. That girl with the middle finger up is from Fox and Cactus. And we struggled with the TSA because we were given hot chicken rub and it was in this like little tin can. And every person from our company that passed through security got checked for that. Like they didn't take it away, but they gave it like a little special scan. But literally when they got to me because we went to the airport a little later than everyone else, they literally knew before they even opened my bag that it was chicken rub. It's so funny. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Tennessee, or at least Nashville, is like known for its um, hot chicken. And so someone gave us, all of us, like hot chicken rub to like take home. Um, I'm pretty sure I missed some stickers, but on Friday in the morning, that's um, an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co., a Kinachi from Kina Prince. I'm pretty sure there's something on the bottom of Thursday, but I'm not 100% sure what it is. Oh, it's a um, salad bowl from Happy Daya Stickers, yeah. So, oh, and then the plain sticker is actually from Purple Bunny Prince. 
I probably should not have sped this plan with me up so much considering that I had so much to talk about. Um, I like I did a lot of like changing around if you haven't noticed yet. I think it is because like this week is pretty special to me. So then I'm just like this has to be just right. So I did put um, the full box with the planes on the very bottom. But because of that, I removed this one. It also had the planes and I didn't want to repeat the same pattern in the same column. Yeah, so on the very bottom, I'm putting down that we got um, milk tea. Uh, some of my friends did. This was already when I was back in California. Um, that milk tea sticker is from Paper and Milk. But like I wrote down that we went to Kung Fu Tea, but we went to a different place called Share Tea. And I don't know why I did that. But I already wrote it down and then I realized it shortly after. And I'm like, oops. But I think on Friday, I also got a subscription for simply gilded so the sub box this past week or like the last couple of weeks i've just been so into simply gilded washi and i have been i have like a lot of the originals and whatnot from back then but it's just resurged lately obviously because everyone's trying to sell their washi for like a 100 bucks um but anyways um that um sports bra sticker is from very jenny co um, the buy all the washi sticker is a newer sticker from my shop. I think I released it maybe two weeks ago. Um, and we got, or I got the candy bows. I always say we, when it comes to simply gilded, because I'm always talking about, um, simply gilded washi with Mandy of Mandy dreams and Denise of paper and milk. So like, we just have this like whole group chat where we just talk about it. So for some reason, my, um, camera cut off while I was writing that, but the gas sticker is from Kina Prince. I cannot remember for the life of me what's on the bottom of Saturday, but that's a munchkin on top of Sunday, and then the grocery bag is from Kina Prince. Here, I like messed up putting this heart on this um, event label, so I had to take it off, and the ink comes up. I just wanted to note down that I got my very first fountain pen. Oh, that's a munchkin on the very bottom because I went to Michael's, I guess. Um, here, I cut up the film sticker from my shop. And I put it next to a glitter film slate from uh, Mandy Dreams. I just could not straighten it out. I don't know. It was just so messy and I was getting really annoyed. I, I do it so many times. Like, look at this. Everything was just so messy. Um, but I know I could have just written it out because it's literally my handwriting. But I had the sticker. So I'm like, why not? And I'd use it the way other people would, basically. So here's what I have left over the kit. I didn't get to use those full boxes just because they didn't blend in as much. Um, I still have so much of this kit left. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I used up all of the full boxes. But yeah, so this is the spread in its entirety. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this plan with me and I will see you guys next time.